Good morning from Suffolk and welcome to the vlog. I am in a place called Cove Hive, I think that's how you spell it. Uh, I'm here with uh, Darren Knight and Jamie Overland and we've come to take some images of the uh, fallen trees on the beach and it is gorgeous today. There is not a cloud in the sky, it's pre-sunrise. I think the sun's due up in about probably, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And I've just been stood here for half an hour taking an image of just this one log one fallen tree in the water. Uh, do you know what? It's so beautiful, I really don't even feel like vlogging it. I just want to stand here and admire it and just keep taking shots. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm here to vlog, so I'm going to vlog it. So, uh, but wow, beautiful morning, beautiful place, fantastic to be by the sea, well worth the two and a half hour drive. So the sky has gone from a beautiful deep red to a pink and now to a yellow as we're approaching sunrise. I've been stood by this one particular fallen tree that's in the water. I was there for probably half an hour just getting shots of different exposures. So taking some nice long 30 second exposures of it when the sun was, or when the, the light was very low. And as the lights come up, the exposure time's got less and that's changed how the, it looks with the waves lapping against it. Um, it's just beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous here. Um, I think the low, I think low tide was about two o'clock this morning, so it's coming in. It's due to be high tide at eleven, but it's not coming in particularly fast, which is a shame in some ways because there's a few bits and pieces. There's only really one tree here that's actually in the water. The rest of them are out on the beach, and I'd like a little bit more water around some of the uh, some of the fallen trees just to get a bit of. Uh, something a bit different from this particular one but my god the one I've got is gorgeous this is exactly exactly what I came here for I wanted that shot of the of the you know the fallen tree in the water with the water swirling around it and my god I've got it with the, some beautiful sort of pre-dawn red light and it's it's lovely This tree behind me really interests me, the fallen tree here that's on the beach that's sticking up on its own. It's just interesting and I've been looking at it the whole time I was here. Uh, I've got to admit it was a lot nicer when the sky was a, a darker red, but I still think I can make something of it. But here's the thing. I think it's, I think its surroundings aren't conducive to a great shot. It's a little bit I think if I was a long way away from it and I did a very long exposure and I had the tree and a lot of negative space perhaps with just the sea, that might work, that might work. But then, and, and possibly if I get really close to it and fill the frame with the tree and use that as the interest, that might work. But I think anything in the mid ground, so if I'm where I'm stood now, it, it's neither fish nor fowl, it's neither very small with a lot of negative space or very prominent in the image. And it's kind of 
there's a lot of all these footprints uh, that are, you know where people have been walking in the sand it's kind of very distracting in the foreground there's no real foreground interest I, I looked at these sort of uh, these wispy grasses to see if I could use those but I, I think the, you kind of lose the prominence of the tree and it doesn't quite work for it being small in the image or not quite small enough or not quite big enough so I've got to kind of work out my shot here I've got to work out how I'm going to get this to look nice but I really like it so I do really want to try and get an image of it I'm just not sure how it's going to work. So it turned out in the end that the thing that worked for me was to use my 70 to 200 uh, zoom into somewhere around about 100 and so between 100 and 150 I'm not quite sure about 135 I think and shoot the image as a panoramic because there was still some nice colour behind if I dropped the exposure down and the trees silhouetted really nicely against the background with a little bit of the sea off to the left so off to the right sorry so basically the tr in the panoramic image as I'm hoping for anyway the trees are going to be off to the left and then there's going to be a little bit of negative space with the sea on the right um, the sun is now well and truly up as you could probably see on my face uh, so the, the uh, there's not a cloud in the sky there is not a cloud in the sky so if you're looking for a dramatic sunrise today you can forget it it's much more of a well it was it's kind of gone now but it's much, it's much more of a subtle tonal kind of day that's the sort of shot that you're looking at a shot with some nice tones in it rather than dramatic skies and and huge reds and what have you uh, with the clouds so that's where we're at uh, I'm really happy actually I'm really happy I've only actually taken two well I've taken much more than two images but two specific shots I've taken two compositions if you like today one of these trees and one of the fallen log in the water and, I, and quite frankly I could probably stop now because I am so pleased with that first one and I think this one here with these trees are going to work out well as well that I don't really need to do any more, um, but but I may have a look around. Now the sun's come up, it's a quite nice side light on these. Uh, there's a, another interesting tree over there actually that might work, um, and there's a quite si nice side light on these grasses. Uh, and, I'm, and actually, there's some quite interesting light on the on the waves as they're coming in because they're quite strong and quite high today. So maybe there's another shot there somewhere. Maybe. stopping but uh, out of the corner of my eye I kept seeing this uh, something which I thought were rocks being hit by the waves further down the shoreline so I thought you know what? I'm gonna go and have a little investigate because I need some you need some foreground interest that's what this place is lacking it's lacking a bit of foreground interest and this is definitely foreground interest it looks like maybe the remains of a of an old pillbox or something that's because basically what's happened here is all along this cliff it's eroded and as it's eroded the things that were on top of the cliff have fallen off here onto the beach um, and this is one of them here uh, it looks like the remains of a pillbox and it's strewn across the beach here um, and the tide is up far enough that it's washing around some of it so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get some nice longish exposures started off at about sort of four or five seconds I think and drop down as far as 0.8 of a second just to try and get the waves just washing around the only problem is it's such a bright sun now it's very contrasty image but 
I think this is going to be a really sort of abstracty, like black and white, you know, that I can't really call it, I don't, can you call it fine art if it's, maybe, I don't know, possibly a fine art image, I don't know, but something along those lines anyway, so that's, that's what I'm shooting here, and I'm just picking out individual pieces of this broken up pillbox, and then just taking shots of the waves just lapping around it, uh, and hopefully that'll lead to some nice images. So let's be honest, it's, it has been a very challenging place to shoot. Right? For me, there are only really a couple of compositions. Uh, worthy compositions, good compositions, if, you know, if you're coming for that one killer shot, I think. The, the first shot I took, I think, if you get that in the right conditions, is a really good shot. Uh, but it, maybe if the tide comes in further, you've got more to play with. But as it stands where the tide is currently, probably not that much here that you can shoot comfortably um, unless you go very abstract it's nice it's been a it's been a, a nice morning it's it's always great to spend a bit of time with you know like-minded people and Darren and Jamie are always good company so you know that's been that's been a real a real a real reason to come out really more than anything else so you know but uh, in terms of in terms of images it's it's been difficult it has not been easy so Anyway, um, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. Hope that the couple of images that you've seen you've, you've liked. And uh, until next time, I'll, uh, I'll see you again soon.